Good morning everyone. Of course this is Bremster and I'm here for the final episode of Life is Strange. Um, the game will of course continue with the previously on um, and of course I remember what happened at the end of the last session where <sighs> Chloe got shot by Mr. Jefferson. So oof. So uh, let's go with the previously on and see what we get. This is going to be a rough journey I imagine. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing hey, in my case. dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are Kate. filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I feel I haven't. I really haven't. Such a good logo. Oh, man. Even the cinematography in this game is brilliant. Yay, I've got my own red binder. What? Where? Oh, the dark room. Is 
anybody out there? Please help! How the heck did that work? Finally, I'm free. Almost. Um, okay, so what happened? Uh, quick recap. Um, <laughs> well, catch up on your own. I mean, we've... There's a couple of things that happened that I don't want to spoil, but at the end of the last one, the big one is that Chloe got shot. We found this place, which is the dark room, um, by following a bunch of evidence that we'd gathered from Nathan, from um, Step Douche, whose name I can't Max, remember. You have to find a way out of here. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's going to be rough. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh my god. A slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. <laughs> vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ. Look at that perfect face. Jefferson you fucking monster. Stay still. shot but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now i knew you were special the second i saw your first selfie yes i still hate that word but i love the purity of your own image not like rachel who was always looking in the wrong places poor rachel Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though Asshole. I promise, 
People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. So how did that help me? Smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. So I'm literally going through iteratively. Right. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them might work. Please work. So I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Chrissy's <laughs> fucked in the head. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. 
Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. Hey, Eric. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. <laughs> You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway. I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. This song is not on the soundtrack. I wonder why. Sorry. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Personified. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. How is rewinding going to help me? I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh, now this one. This. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Yeah, but I can't access my diary. Man, I took no photos in chapter four. Max. 
Now what am I supposed to access? Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Am I going right back to the start? That's cool. The selfie you take right at the start of the game could be the most important. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the everyday. Oh, good God! Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Six three zero eight two four three. For once, David. I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Oh, my God. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. 
I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. Ooh. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Wow. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Wow. Wow. So what the hell changed there? Nothing changed there. They raided the dark room. Wow. Look okay. at me, I'm on a... You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. Is that the principal? Oh, good God. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe, oh, you're alive. 
Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, and now the plane crashes because you used your cell phone on the plane. Um, this is 2015. It's a multi-million dollar plane and you can bring it down with a cell phone that costs 50 bucks. Be careful. I'm still between realities. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. No one is Please innocent. Shut off your phone, sir. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. After hearing a series of tips from David Madsen, head of uh, security at Blackwell Academy, the police officially Descended Tuesday in Bazaar Underground Chamber, allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as the owner of the farmhouse where the high tech darkroom studio was located. Amid all the environmental chaos in Acadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beach bars, some residents reporting seeing two full moons last night around 8pm. Witnesses claims the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe the imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but... I'm so excited to fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West. Was that? Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Well, we How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. Yeah, I can totally imagine. totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. <laughs> I used to have so many nosebleeds as a kid. I don't think I've had one in 20 years. I used to have them almost like three a week. Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. 
If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Spray can time. Walk the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with you. I, most kids, I think, have After nose blades. Week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. I mean, I probably now, have had them. I just don't remember. The you want to be. But now, I used to get them all I the time. I to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Hmm. <laughs> Bowser Max, you did it somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. I wonder how many of these names are based on something. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. What is a hero? The Zeitgeist Gallery is proud to be a participant in the 2013 Everyday's Heroes National Contest, a showcase for today's future stars of photography. The winners, chosen by prestigious teachers from art schools and programs across the nation, reveal imaginative skill and heartfelt awareness which highlight the casual heroism of those who may never appear anywhere, appear on the news or reality shows for unrecognised deeds to the community and beyond. Celebrating each young artist and their work is, is as important as their celebration um, of our all too often invisible everyday heroes. Noise. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. It's nice being the protagonist in a video game. How did these galleries afford to rent here? The soldier and the girl in the green dress is probably my favorite so far. Yeah, it's a good question. How do the galleries? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Or, you know, you just waste away. Not bad. I like that one. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. You think it's for some context. So you look at art, but you can't read. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Thanks. So I was trying to look at the... Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine.
So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Yeah. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. It's not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. I know, but that's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Um, my wife and I have bought several original pieces of artwork. Like, nothing flamboyant. Some of them, you know, were worth a few hundred. I can't imagine they've appreciated in value, and we've never bought them for collection reasons. We've bought them because we thought they were cool. And our style. Black, I do not understand art. This would be an interesting comment. Well, I have to say... This is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. None of those really do much for me. How much would you pay for that? Don't care. Huh. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy it. I like that one. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. <sighs> well, at least I didn't throw away my shot. Wait. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I like that one. None of this is what stuff that I would consider hanging on a wall though. God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Yes, because you're so fascinated by art, you are not prepared to look me in the eye while we're... while we're chatting. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. None of these. Like, I go to galleries a bit. 
Hi, I excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. There's a military theme for sure. I mean, they're all pretty, and I would not be upset if I went to a gallery and saw this stuff. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. While walking I've away. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Interestingly enough, this piece here is potentially the only one that I would consider putting on a wall. And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Because everything in life is only for now. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. San Francisco, famously well above sea level. You left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Now, there those has are cool. to be a way to stop this. For good. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out who was in this photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting. So am I going to go back into my photo? I guess everybody is a photographer now. This is nuts. So how many photos have I traveled through now? Oh shit. Oh my head. You know it's bad. Now I'm bleeding out of both nostrils. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? Well, all you need is time. My previous... I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. 
Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. This is bonkers! Victoria? Wait, what? Still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He we burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. No kidding! Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, what? don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. Kick him. What? David. No, David, no. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay, let's try this one last time. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What?
Okay, so... And I promise you, no more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. No way, Jefferson. So music was the wrong choice. No. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Oh my lord, you get a photo of yourself from that. How am I supposed to get these photos? I don't understand. I don't care. I don't care that much. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Dave? It's over. You are not going to stop Grab me. Grab your gun now. Got it. What am I supposed to do here? You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. It's not what I wanted to do. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Sorry, Madsen. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. I can't go back further. Jefferson, it's over. Grab that bottle. It doesn't do it. Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing students. Okay. <laughs> Jefferson, it's over. You are He's not going to there. stop me. So what am I? Jefferson, it's over. You are not going now. to stop. Got it. Okay, what? Okay, so this is about figuring out the Jefferson, combo. It's over. Grab that bottle. So it just jumped. Not go 
So if you pick the wrong option, it just jumps you Jefferson, to. It's over. You are not going to stop there. me. Nope, that's not it. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. David Manson. I always hated that. Okay, this feels dumb. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <gasps> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. I had no idea he was this sick. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw. Her. Jefferson Keller in the junkyard last night last night when I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room if we went some way dude I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe how can I face her and explain this I never even told Chloe that I, I god damn it You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! <laughs> oh, fuck. So you shot him, Your Honor, and then I duct taped him I'm just sorry. to make sure the body didn't get away. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me.
Holy shit. My God. What do I tell Joyce? <laughs> you won't need to. That's probably going to be law enforcement. Have you seen Warren? Yes. Sorry. Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Because at 18, my driving skills are going to be stunning. What? Uh... Do you think she can drive shift? Apparently. It's probably an order. And our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? This is a sound you don't hear much anymore. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. God, the soundtrack of this is good. There's no way this city is going to be able to rebuild after this. Such a simple graphical effect and yet so powerful. Everywhere. It's following me. Wow. 
one more picture. Right into the eye of the storm. Kevin, did you see that tornado? Get the hell out of here. Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. This is the Just end. look at it. It's all over. You can't take a picture when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max. You do know things. You're such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. Where am I going? Please! Somebody! Anybody! Sounds like he's in the truck. So I need to rewind, but not too far when I rewind. I can't hear the person who's saying help me. It's over here. How can I get out of here? We can make it out of this, Chloe. Ugh. This makes me so sad. He's dead. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. So... I do I need to turn the fuse box on without electrocuting the fisherman I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Oh my god, this is terrible. I think what I need to do...
I thought I'd have to do something in here. Oh no. to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. That was insane. It's a simple puzzle, but because you're in this emotional situation, it feels very different to a I just hope I haven't rewound time so far that the fisherman's back in the burning building. Nobody's going to starve in here. The emergency broadcast system is now. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Go get him, Julia. I'm trying to write in this essay. I love my school and the education is provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glare or agenda. It's in fact a problem that reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school. Yeah. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. 
I'm so know. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. No, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Pompidou hated him! Yeah, he saw... He saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and... gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too. This is bad. rough. I expect her to leave me. Just. It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. And I knew Chloe and her were close. And I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I am so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. Hmm. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. <laughs> Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is Too insane light. and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki 
killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Huh. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, Maybe you caused a chain reaction, even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. We all are. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. <laughs> None of that us do. Both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Okay. Buckle up, I, I suppose. Just... Hey. Be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's As okay, because I'm not. Super Max. Please be okay. I vaguely remember the final choice in this game. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Because uh, once you encounter it, you kind of never forget it. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here. I don't remember the details. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. To Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. 
Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure... Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you... Because I would... Will you please tell me ex- Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time oh, to the last man. day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and... You... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. Have to believe me. Wow. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. So stay. I, that's that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max. But do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Wow. Chloe not dead? We're talking to David. 
David takes down Jefferson. Cops take down Jefferson. That's still a tornado. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of our kingdom. <laughs> just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think the rage About to get wiped out by a tornado. Fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Uh, Chloe. I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Again? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. <laughs> what the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson light, lecture again. Shadow, this color, might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. Don't sport. freak out. What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Look at where Kate was sitting. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Where Kate was sitting. I'm sorry, Kate. What the fuck is going on? Rachel didn't deserve any of this. What the fuck is going on? 
I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if he did it, Johnny Silverhand. Like spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes, you will be posing for me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Uh, uh, what? It can't be real. I don't believe it. That's a nice transition. That was very cool. Hey, Kate. Matt. How could you let me jump off a roof? You are the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. Oh, I would say nice. But it's not. This is supposed to be my room. That doesn't look like my room. Max, Dana, Stella. Keys. 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 Where did I last see keys? Drum roll, please. I present the spare key to Blackwell. Thank you, Seth Frick. But I used the keys. We used the keys to get into the pool. I did look at the map. There's Brooke, Victoria, Kate, Juliet, Taylor, Stella, Dana, and Max. I can't go back. Who was saying that? Was it Victoria? I know Kate is 222. Two, two. Kate just went in there. Ah. Uh. 218.
Wait. Okay, so that's changed. Dana, Rachel. Rachel? So this is different. I could go to Rachel's room? Well, it's nice to be Victoria. Now I'm dressed as Victoria, so I go to Victoria's room. Victoria Chase rules. Hang on, I thought Victoria... No, Victoria's 221. And now I'm back to being... What is going on? And I will be back in my own room, 22219. But there's photos everywhere. Oh, good. This one is for Samuel. Hey, clever Jose. Sorry, I didn't realize it was someone new talking. I've been a little bit too engrossed in the game. I apologize for not realizing you were here earlier. So let's go into Max's room. It's another Twin Peaks reference. That gum you like is going to come back in style. Actually, because I'm streaming this, I'll be able to play it back in reverse later and potentially see what's... This was the opening credits moment. This is nuts. It's the Mortnorb or Morthadnab tab. Morth tab. Go into the light. Hang on. What? Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Can't believe you let that I hate this sort of stealth mechanic. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Maybe I'll wake up. Your spark, Max. 
I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss Max. It's dismissed. Max. Class is dismissed. those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes I want to be your professor again I can teach you so much good evening Blackwell this is principal Wells and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield attention I regret to announce that one of your fellow I think when I played um has died under tragic circumstances I was playing BioShock Infinite and there was the lighthouse at the end I thought I was thinking of this as what it might have been Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, babe, babe. Poor Kate Marsh. Max might as well have pushed her ass off that roof. You dig my Poor wheel, Sam. Had to mop God up. Damn blood. it, Max. Wake up. So I can beat you up. How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit Just it! like you, Max. And you can't keep saving her over and over and over. Do you have a You can't escape my Max? surveillance, Missy. Hey, bitch! You can get me expelled, but you can't accommodate her every whip. Admit it, Max. You're a stoner, a pothead, a weed junkie. Bony ass over it. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. I need a ball and Max. Ass over it. I'm gonna cut you Since open, Kate freak. Since is around it. Those were my bees, Max! Those were my fucking bees! Max, Rachel Lowry gave sure great headshots. She gave great head. Especially after oh, no. Bottles. Max? This might be hell. Great head. Especially after I dug her body up to be with her one final time. Get over here! Head. Especially well, if Rachel's dead. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Where are you gonna play now? It's gonna be so sweet when I bury your carcass next to Rachel. Max! You need shoot. to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? When did I get bad bottle karma? What are you gonna do now that I'm dead? Come on, girly. I'm terrible at this sort of thing where you're supposed to... You're supposed to be able to see what's happening behind you and all of that. I'm... I just... I don't like these sorts of mechanics. Max, what the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy.
Am I supposed to go back and find the other bottles? God. Uh. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. Max. It was brutal. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. So are the bottles all in this area, or Max. Max. was there one back in this previous location? You took some. Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it! I think it's gotta be in this location, doesn't it? Those were my beans, Max! Those were my fucking beans! Rachel, there you are. <sighs> yeah, please explore without my being beans, seen. Max. Those were my fucking beans! Max! <sighs> Hey, Max! Oh, good God. White drugs. What the fuck Maybe. ever you... Max! So now I'm caught in the middle of three of them and I can't move. If you took some of my hey, drugs... Don't... What the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? Psst. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. This is my nightmare. Let me have one sanctuary. So of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. So how am I supposed I to find the bottle when I can't really walk around? Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Doesn't it? Rachel, she looks just like a zombie model in the dirt. Just bone, meat, maggots. Oh, I would be all over that shit. Now that Rachel's dead, it's time for you to die too, skank. Please let that be the last one. Max, you need to get. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Six with one shot. I was terrible at taking these photos, wasn't I? Okay, so that explains the Don't snow. You dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. So. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. 
We're all going to work at the two wind. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Aha. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. I have to destroy too much of the house. And no <gasps> Chloe and Max wine tasting deck. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joe? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Pompado. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. Got a snack? Nathan. Hey, Max. I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. Max, we have surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There's no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me. You hear? What the fuck is going on? Dad. There's so many little things in here that are just evil. How long will this nightmare go on? Uh, if it's hell forever but if it's a video game maybe another 20 or 30 minutes i think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge you have the same qualities that i loved in rachel amber but not max max is a fucking child oh christ i know and she never shuts up does she <laughs> i'm so over her hipster bullshit I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hella lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. What is going on? This is the bathroom at the two whales, isn't it? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Yeah. Because I'm looking for a code. I'm assuming it's reflected in the mirror.
Or not. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Ah, because it's the one reflected in the mirror. 0311. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you I do the right just thing. Being your friend. I hope. Why do you want all your friends to die? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. Killing me is so not cool. Wow, Max. Right when I finally find a cool chick to date, you have to kill us off. This sucks. Breaker, breaker. Thanks for saving me and carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big 10-4. This is not how I wanted to spend my last hour on Earth. Max, can you call my mother in Portland and tell her that I love her? I guess my husband and new baby will have to go without me. Max, I hope you can live with yourself after this. All I'm doing is looking around. I'm not pushing any buttons or anything. As I walk around, the people I'm near are talking to me. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. My husband I wish and new we baby. had been friends, Max. We'll have to go without me. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Don't let the squirrels die. <laughs> Even if I'm dead, how can you let all these other people get wiped out? They don't deserve that. Oh, Max. What exactly was the point of saving me if you're going to let me die? Even if I'm Please, dead, Please, Max, how don't can you let me? all so these other people get wiped out? We can finally have our tea session. They don't deserve that. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. Even if I'm dead. Please, Max, how can don't you let kill all me these so other people get wiped out? have our tea set. Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. 
I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe, or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. What? Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. What the fuck is going on? I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Oh, that's a nice... Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. How is this for a great way of doing a recap? Some fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. And Rachel, apparently. Max, you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again. <gasps> Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. This is so I'm cool. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. 
see us in. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! <laughs> An otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. How's this for an amazing recap? Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. <laughs> Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a black robe fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me. Oh, wow. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. I guarantee you, Warren is into girl and girl action. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love pose. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Life is strange. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> and now... It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. It's gonna be a oh, room in there. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Chloe, you're back. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but <laughs> thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Rachel. No, Rachel, no, no. Please, not her. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. The acting in this is so really much. good. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> Come on, Max. We're almost there. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear, but that nightmare was so real, it was so horrible. I'm trying to remember what the heck comes next. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to, to fuck that. No, no way. You are my number one priority. Okay, this is for all that matters to me. I know you prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up. Right, this is the decision I remembered. I just did. didn't remember how we got she here. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, 
I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Oh, that wording. <sighs> oh, good God. I don't remember what I did last time. I notice chat is silent. My gut is telling me I need to save the town. Chloe has nearly died so many times. The train shot by Jefferson. Everything that's gone wrong with Chloe. The, the car crash. The more... And if I keep fucking around with time... <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Max? It's time. Chloe! I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. Who lives, to who dies, everybody. who tells okay? your story. And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Forget about me. Never. I could save Kate. I can't do anything about Rachel, but I can stop Jefferson. I'm hoping that's the last action you need to take. I hope from this point on it's hands off, because It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. 
So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Well, the soundtrack is kick ass. Frank. Okay, so that's the end of Life is Strange. There was talk for a while, and I think it's still going on, of making a TV show about this. How? Because what decisions do you make? Considering it's possible to save Kate, which decision do you put into the show? And it all boils down to that very last decision. What do you do? How do you... You'd have to make a decision for the entire audience, which weakens this whole thing. Oh, my Lord. Well... That's Life is Strange. There are three more games in the series. Um, not one of them, the next game that I'm going to play, which I won't play for a few, I'll probably leave it a week, I don't know, um, is a three chapter game set before Life is Strange. It's a prequel. Um, and I believe it's Chloe and Rachel Amber. So that'll be interesting. Holy cow. I You are very welcome, Keith. And yeah, it as I said, I had played this before and I had remembered at the end you had to make a choice between Chloe and the town, but I didn't remember how it worked. Um I mean, I suppose it made sense, and if I'd thought about it, but I didn't want to think about it too much. I wanted to get there again. But the way that the story played out, who was actually responsible for Rachel Amber, who was responsible for what was going on and everything, I, I, <laughs> I, I did not remember at all. I love the fact that the To All of Us song title was reversed in the credits. Um, I didn't remember how that worked at all. Um... I remembered it sort of a bit of the beginning in the classroom, possibly because you play it four times. Oh my lord, that was stunning. I'm really glad I played this again. And I could see myself playing this game again in a few more years, like coming back to it and seeing if I make the same decisions or not. I don't know. That is so... Amazing. 
And there are documentaries about the making of the game and all sorts of stuff. It's just really cool. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Well, considering the first chapter is Chrysalis, and we kind of see why now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Let's see if there's a thing about decisions. There's a single decision. It's fairly polarized. Yeah. Well. <sighs> yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been an amazing journey. Um and I am so glad to have, and apparently now I can pick chapters. So apparently I could go through and potentially make a different choice, but I don't really want to do that. This was my journey. And as I said, I might come back like I did this time in like six or seven years, maybe less, I don't know, and do it again and see what decisions lead to that time. Thank you everyone for joining me though and if you watch this to to see what life is strange is about my recommendation is still pick up the game maybe leave it a few months pick up the game and see what decisions you make because i imagine being in the driver's seat and making the decisions is going to be a very different emotional experience than watching me make those decisions because it it hits it really does Thank you, everyone. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. I'm looking at... I'm still going to be playing my action role-playing games on the channel. I'm hoping to do more story games on the channel. There's a lot of YouTube pressure to pick a direction from your channel. Do action role-playing games or do story games or do space exploration games or anything. I'm just here to enjoy playing games and I'm going to do all of it. Watch the things you like. Don't watch the things you don't. That means the algorithm is going to hate my channel and it's going to shrink rather than grow. And I absolutely know that. I expect my channel to go down to 150 subscribers before it hits 300. Like it, it's absolute, and it'll it, it's going to go down rather than up. But I'm comfortable doing this for me and for the people who enjoy being here. Thank you, everyone. I I need a break. I I need I need. I need a break. Thank you for enjoying Life is Strange if you did. And please comment below. If you're going to talk about anything that happened in the game or anything, please spoiler tag it. Um, I don't want people coming to it and everything. Um, and I will be back with more Life is Strange games over the over some coming time. There's a lot of games coming I want to play, so it might be a couple of months. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I might mix up my Diablo plays and, and other games with just chapters of this occasionally. Thanks, everyone. And as always, good luck with the hard decisions in your life. Bye.